Hello everybody, my name is Tamaria, and today I have something very special. Today we have part two to our petting zoo series. I'm visiting a petting zoo today that's a very special one that I've had my eye on for a few weeks now, and I'm really excited about it, so let's get into it. Today we are visiting a Toadstool Fjord petting zoo owned by Akira. They're over here and they're waiting for us, and we are on Toddle today for the visit, so let's just go and say hi. Hello. So, to begin, what's your name, and how long have you been playing Wild Horse Island? My name is Akira. Um, I've been playing Wild Horse Islands probably since, like, the... can't quite remember, but I lost my starter horse, but... I think I started playing toward the start of the 2022 spring event. Ooh. I started towards the end, so that's... I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so which toadstool is this that you're on? This is Grandma. Oh, how'd she get her name? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I just had two toadstools that had dark gray hair and named them Grandma and Grandpa. That's lovely. Can you give me a tour? Would that be okay? Oh. So we're gonna head to the barn first, which has some of my main toadstool fjords. Alright. I'm excited. They all look so- oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them! No, I currently have 30 toadstool fjords. Um, she's a little heptic. Aww. <laughs> she's energetic. So cute. This is one of my top favorites. This is Goth Mushroom. Ooh, very goth. A little spooky. And then we have Rat Poison. I love Rat Poison. There's no explanation there. He's just Rat Poison. Yes. Then there's Dust Bunny. I think you can see why. Aww. <laughs> I love how their tag matches their names. Yes. And then we have Super Glue. Um, <gasps> the name! <laughs> Super glue is a little lazy. He's basically glued to the floor half the time. Aww. Of course, this is the one time he's not. And then my all-time favorite, Lemon Tart. Aww. They remind Maybe. me of Lemon Pledge over at mine. Yes. That's so lemon cute. <laughs> Alright, so I see you've got 12 of them in here. They all have very unique <laughs> names. <laughs> Yeah, you can um, find Goldie Carrot running around. Yeah, what, what what made you want to own a petting zoo? I was mostly just inspired by you because I, I've always liked the idea of it. Um, and also just because I've always been fond of the Toadstool Fjords and I'm just like, why not collect them? That's, a, that's honestly iconic. I love them. I have Toddle here. He's my favorite. <laughs> um, but would you say that these are your favorite event horse? If so, why? What makes them so special? They are definitely my favorite event horse. And what makes them special is I've always had like a fond little obsession, if you will, of mushrooms. I don't know why. It's always just been my thing. Um, <laughs> like you, if you looked at my desktop, it's covered in little mushroom pottery things that I made. And... Aww found out that Wild Horse Islands was going to release a mushroom-themed horse, I got really excited. Yeah, I understand that. They're so cute. Um, I know. Who... I think you already answered this question, but is Lemon Tart your favorite in the petting zoo? 100% yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, because you have over 20, how often would you say you swap out the horses that are present in the pasture or the barn? I swap out the pasture fairly often. The barn basically remains the same because I like to keep the barn dedicated to my few favorites, but I do swap out the pasture fairly often. Aww. But one that stays in the pasture full time is Demon Child, which is my forever full. Oh, I can She's see Demon Child. Somewhere. She's so cute. <laughs> oh. So we've moved to the forest because it just felt like a fitting place to be. But, what is one thing that you personally would tell people who want to start their own petting zoo? 
personally, I would say just wait for an event horse or look for an event horse that you just have a really deep connection with. Like, I don't know, like say you're just really, really fond of butterflies. Collect monarch perches. Mm. And then just pick a theme to elaborate on as well. You could do that. I know several people who have loads of different petting zoos. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I know some people who have mismatched petting zoos as well. I there's, would been love a, there's been a lot of petting zoos popping up. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of exciting. I feel like I was one of the first to actually advertise mine. So I just... You were. I'm having fun going through and looking at all of them. <laughs> um, would you say that you're excited for the upcoming mystery event coming in September, I believe? I think I am. I'm really wondering what it's going to be. I hope that they have another cute event horse that I can easily collect and grind for that I might be able to start another petting zoo with, but if Aww. not, I'm just with the toadstools. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think the only other question I have for you is what advice would you give to like new event goers? I usually wouldn't ask this, but you have an event petting zoo, so you very clearly collect events. Um, what, what advice do you think you would tell them? <laughs> I'd just say, if you're a new event goer, save up some money like a few months before the event and just grind lassos and minerals and just get them all collected to the point where you have like maybe over like a hundred or so. And then just know your route on each island and just catch horses non-stop and keep going through islands until you get the horses you want and it also helps you get event tokens so i mean win-win and take care of your horse that's, that's important. very true do you have a tiktok page youtube page anything you'd like to promote where people can find you i actually do have a tiktok page it is akira.does.stuff and it's Mostly Wild Horse Islands based. I have recently started this petting zoo, so there's only a little bit of content on the petting zoo as of now, but there will be more. All right, people should definitely go follow. <laughs> um, <laughs> would it be okay if I went and I checked out your petting zoo a little more, just independently? Of course, go right ahead. Overall, I'd say I absolutely love this petting zoo. My personal favorite has to be either Dust Bunny or Lemon Tart. These little toadstool fjords are absolutely adorable and i gotta say i'm loving it all of their outfits are very creative they're very well put together look at how cute oh <laughs> they're very well put together and well thought of like dust bunny i would not have thought about this like that is a dusty oh <laughs> that's a dusty bunny but um yeah if you guys want to, I will leave Akira's TikTok link and all that in the description. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to turn on notifications. You can always turn them off if I get a little bit annoying. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>